Namaskaram. It's my pleasure and honor to welcome back Dr. Kanik Skanikeswaran, who has been already on our channel for several hangouts. Dr. Kanik, Namaskaram and welcome to P Guru. Namaskaram. Channel. Namaskaram, Sri. Thank you so much for having me here again. Well, uh, viewers, Dr. Kanix has done a stupendous masterpiece of a musical called Rivers of India, and he has done this for the ICCW, which is a subsidiary or it's an affiliated unit with IIT Madras. And uh, this beautiful composition that I think he wrote, and he'll explain to us a little bit about how it came about. It's in Sanskrit where it describes all the rivers of India and it also has a story to tell. Six and a half minutes, you cannot ask for more. Without further ado, I'd like Dr. Kanix to hear uh, from his own words how he conceptualized this thing, how he came about this idea, and then we can take it from there. Dr. Kanix, over to you. Thank you, Sri. First of all, th uh, Sri, thank you so much for your kind words. And uh, uh, anytime you speak of the video like this, I get inspired to create more. Uh, so, um, so how did this idea occur to me? Okay, um, 25 years ago, um, actually to to the date, 24 years ago on Earth Day 1997, we staged a musical production called the Blue Jewel. It is about all about environmental consciousness. It's a state of how the ancient people revered the earth and the environment and how um, human lifestyles caused a lot of damage to the environment and what is the message for the future. So that's what this production explored. So it's been like 24 years to the date, but actually 25 years because the premiere happened in 1996. Um, last year, on, on Jan 1st, I staged one of my productions on campus in IIT Madras and then during a reunion, I was talking to Mr. Nanda Kumar of the Clean Water Center, uh, Center for Clean Water, uh, about the possibility of uh, producing a show um, which would tell the story of what water, just the way we t told the story of the en the environment uh, some more than 20 years ago. And he was so open to the idea, and he said, "Let's do it, Kanix." Uh, so I came back to the U.S. and I was actually a lot of things were planned. I was going to make a trip to India in September to work out the rehearsals and all that, uh, but then. Um, I started composing the music in February itself, and the, the first thing that struck me was let's have an invocation, uh, revering the the rivers, and uh, how do we do it? Actually, let's call them out by name. See, because the sounds of the names of the rivers in India, they have a magical ring to them. So I don't know what they do to you, but the way I, I want to say it is, if you mention the names of the seven rivers, which are usually chanted in an invocatory slok slokam, just the very chanting of the names of the rivers causes your cell fluids to resonate um, in sync with the names of the rivers. That's that's the way I can explain it, because it's the, these rivers are in our DNA. They are, uh, they are part of the Indian cultural system. They've been there forever. Ganga, Yamuna, Kaveri, uh, Sindhu, Godavari, uh, Yamu, um, Narmada and Saraswati, the, the seven rivers as we call them. So I said, okay, uh, so I just started writing one day and this, I started writing this when I was in Texas. Uh, I'd actually gone there for a choir program and uh, I started writing it there. And believe it or not, um, we started rehearsing it, this piece which I wrote with a, with a choir, uh, newly formed choir there. I was remotely teaching this to them, but this was the last session we ever had before the pandemic. So like 30, 35 people singing the song together, Ganga Yamuna. And this, the reaction was the same from everyone. My God, this song does something to me. Um, so the first stanza covers seven rivers. Um, and then the next, it goes on to talk about the other rivers of uh, India in uh, um, like, uh, and the tributaries to Bhagirathi, um, Kabini, Sharavati, and all that kind of stuff. So when I wrote this song, one thing I realized was that names just flowed, okay? And uh, we have concepts call of alliteration in Indian poetry, whether in Tamil or in Sanskrit. In Sanskrit, we refer to Sanskrit, we refer to it as uh, antya prasam. The last syllable always rhymes. Um, so Ganga, Yamuna, Sindhu, Kaveri, Narmada, um, Godavari, Sri, Saraswati. So that's the first stanza. The second stanza goes is like Bhagirati, Kabini, Sharavati, Sabarmati, Amaravati, Tapati. Then uh, Mandakini, Sarayu, Netravati. Kundali, Mahanadi, Pampa, Pedavati, Sona Vaitarini. So 
it's poetic just by by design the way it falls into it it falls into the seven beat cycle so the seven beat cycle actually literally stands for the sapta sindhava uh, the seven rivers from the vedic times um, or the seven water bodies let's say and then the um, the raga which i just started singing it's like it didn't take any deliberate effort to compose it or anything like that so it was like it was almost in the system from some past life somewhere maybe i don't know how i don't know how to explain it because it is so natural so joyous it is in a raga called yamuna kalyani and see how it all falls together yamuna is the second river that we mentioned in the song and the raga is in yamuna kalyani it's in the seven beat cycle standing for the sapta sindhava and then there's a concept called swara aksharam which is uh, the text of the syllable uh, text of a word falling on the musical note itself which uh, uh, which is also the same syllable so it's like bhagirathi kabinish next line is sabarmati sa amaravati tapati man so it's like a lot there's a lot of alankaras happening in there and then between every stanza there's a chorus alakananda janavi so and all the kind of stuff so i didn't even keep track of uh, how the rivers names flowed in there i had to look up a few uh, but ultimately when the song is all over people enjoyed it i taught it taught it to a couple of choirs virtually and then we said okay this is going to be the fittest invocation for the program in iit but then the pandemic came along so the trips for the whole year was complete anything anything was out of questions so that was what was going to lead me to the next phase of the uh, project um, so one one more thing about the inspiration behind the whole thing today somebody asked me the question how many question how many name how many rivers are featured in the song i said i didn't count but then when i counted them today there were 51 Wow. 51 rivers are featured <laughs> yeah and, and viewers uh, he also uh, mentions one river by its full name which is rarely done in this day and age <laughs> i will leave the suspense out to you when you listen to the song you will realize what i mean so kanix now yeah. as the song proceeds towards the second half there yeah. is a story that is that unfolds that yeah. how water is being misused mm-hmm. mal used mm-hmm. and and yeah. and how do we go and retrieve back from this position and how do we move forward now all this stuff you know it's it's mm. like a really powerful message conveyed yeah. in the form of music mm-hmm. and making people relate to all the rivers see i grew up in this river i grew yeah. up on this bank like for example mm-hmm. the river i mentioned i mentioned to you i grew up on the banks of that river wow literally <laughs> i mean wow. i have taken you know as a kid i have taken baths in the river these those days there weren't many many people so it wasn't you know that you know there wasn't so regulated you you could just go on yeah. and and, yeah. and yeah. take a bath yeah. in the river so yeah. it's just incredible so mm-hmm. so the message that i'd like you to you know yeah. uh, say in your own words what you are mm-hmm. hoping that mm-hmm. this song will accomplish because i have no doubt in my mind that it is going to resonate and it's resonate is going to resonate far and wide yeah um thank you so much for your uh, kind wishes uh, sri um like uh, you said this is story told within 6 minutes or, um just a little, little over 6 minutes it's a powerful story it's a so- story similar to the story of the environment we we said in like 80 minutes back in 1996 and 97 and all that kind of stuff and it's it's an 80 minute long story which we would have told on stage if the pandemic had not happened so I talked to my friend Nanda Kumar in IIT um my batchmate who heads uh, who, who's the CEO of the uh, Center for Clean Water and I said hey we cannot do it live how about producing a music video on the rivers of India and he said yes why not and uh, how about producing two videos one on rivers and one on monsoons and that's a giveaway that so that's in the works that should come out um so I said sure why not and then uh, we talked about modalities how much it would cost and uh that how he would raise the money for that and all that and how it would be circulated and what is the mission it would accomplish so the mission was very clear it we needed to create awareness about water resources the resources that are becoming scarce and uh, awareness re- regarding technologies which can be harnessed at this point in time to uh 
mitigate our water needs and uh, uh, mitigate wastage and so on and so forth. And in the process, how do people become aware of the center for clean water? And if possible, how can people contribute to the center and all that? So that was a final goal that was to be achieved using this five or six minute long music video. Um, so when uh, so, so, so this is this was a song I wanted to do and I was very clear about that. And the initial idea I had was let's get every possible known singer in India to sing one line of the song. And then it'll be like Mele Sur Mera Tumara. And even I, I even started talking to some artists and all that kind of stuff. But then um, once we got ready to produce it and once the, um, the path was clear and once the initial stage of the pandemic was over and all that kind of stuff, I talked to one of my friends uh, uh, who is a music uh, producer. He's a recording engineer. More than He's more than a recording engineer. He's like a um, sound wizard. And um, I got in touch with him. Uh, his name is Sai Shravanam. And he and I had worked on three other projects before. This is the fourth one. So I, um, I had to find out the schedule if he would be able to take on something like this, and he was happy to do it. And one of the suggestions he had was, don't have a huge lineup of artists, just have two or three or maybe four. Uh, then he suggested uh, the, the two main artists that we had, uh, we enrolled in the project. One is Bombay Jayasri and the other is Kaushiki Chakravarti and their sons, respectively. So there's a lot of uh, that dynamic happening here. Bombay Jayasri and her son Amrit singing together and Kaushiki and her son, Rishit singing together in Calcutta, uh, Kolkata actually. So, uh, so the two contrasting scenes between the north and the south. And then I wanted to make sure that there was a huge chorus that had to come in at pivotal points. So we could finally do only one pivotal point and we actually used it pretty effectively. So we had about 50 singers from around the world singing just that one line and uh, they were all assembled um, as a collage. And that was to show a turning point in the whole thing. So it's in the six minute video, the first part of it is the reverence that has been traditionally accorded to the rivers. The second part is just stating that rivers have been the source of our livelihood. They've been the source of our food, water, irrigation, our water needs for anything, our life basically. And then over usage of rivers have led to dwindling conditions everywhere and uh, even a decay in the quality of uh, uh, rivers and uh, death of some rivers maybe and uh, unprecedented pollution. So the, the visuals play a role in the whole thing, right? So so, uh, so it starts with uh, the singing, the, the people that are singing, then uh, lush scenes of waterfalls and full rivers and, uh, um, you know, currents and everything like that. And then you see boats and dams and all that and suddenly you see, oh my God, what is going on? At that time, I had written the music, written the music so that the music changes from Yaman Kalyan or Yamuna Kalyani to to a raga called Kiravani, which is in the minor scale, and then also with a lot of tension infused into it, uh, humming on many different tracks and the percussion really freaking out there and all that kind of stuff. So the disaster is portrayed, but then we don't want to leave people the message of disaster because the whole idea is hope. So there's a pause in the music, and then they said, "But there is hope." And the lyrics transition into Tamil. There's just one line used in Tamil, right? From the and that is a, one of my favorite lines from the uh, epic Sila Padikaram. It says Nadandai Vari Kaveri. May you be blessed. You walk this land. And Jale Asmin Sanidim Kuru. Please take. Uh, please bless us by being in front of us. Us in the water that I hold in front of me. And then uh, uh, having said that, it, uh, I wrote the song. I had the song change keys just become one note sharper so it's like uh, the shruti goes up and the shruti which means the shruti is changed I mean, suddenly it's like waving our hand and we say we can accomplish something that when we get together I mean the wand is waved the shruti changes and then there's a huge whole lot of people behind and they are singing that Askini padma and all that so that is a message of hope right there and then immediately it says, what can we do? These are the things that do. And you can watch the video and figure all this out. And then we show the center in action, classes, uh, uh, lab work, and the possibilities of clean water and so on and so forth. So in six minutes, we have told the story of a uh, past, a pristine past uh, of overuse, and then the possibility, hope, people coming together, and uh, restorative work, and then uh, a, a, a future full of possibility. So. That is what is captured in the six minute long uh, video.
wonderful connects and uh, we will not delay this anymore we are going to play this uh, excellent video the the filmography the photography the it's just out of the world i mean i don't want to you know pump, pump you up yeah. i want you to see it for yourself but before i start the view, video i'd like to thank iccw and iit madras especially lata venkat for giving us a chance to replay this uh, material of yours and uh, please enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to our channel do write in your comments on this it's very important because i would like dr kanik's kanikeshan to understand what you felt when you listened to the song and when you saw the song thank you once again uh, dr kanik's all the best to you i am looking one of your ardent uh, ardent admirers i am looking forward to more such brilliant work from you and uh, thank you once again for uh, taking time out to talk to us about this thank you so much sri it is my pleasure it's my honor i i really would um uh, i'm really very happy at the opportunity to share this with a wide range of people and hope to um um experience their reactions as well thank you thank you and namaskar namaskar ganga yamuna saraswati sindhu kaveri narmada jale asmin sannidhin kuru jale asmin sannidhin kuru ganga yamuna
நடந்தாய்வாழி ஜலேயஸ்மின் சந்நிதிம் குரு நடந்தாய்வாழி நடந்தாய்வாழி 